Hey guys, it's Jackman5000 here, and I know I haven't made a video in, like, forever, and I might not do any more, or I don't know. Anyway, that's beyond the point. Um, so I'm just doing a quick little tutorial video for all you people that, um, are really, like, pissing yourself over the Battlefield 4 beta that play on PC. Um, so obviously there's some serious lag and stuttering issues right now, but there is one quick and easy fix for this. Um, obviously you have to meet, like, the minimum requirements is probably better if you meet the recommended, but if you already meet the recommended requirements, you meet the minimum and you're playing on low settings and you're still getting lag, there is, there are two big things you can do. One is upgrade to Windows 8. Yeah, I know, Windows 8 is awesome, sexy, and some of you just have serious hate against it, but um, it is a proven fact, um, at least by a lot of people that I've seen on forums and shit, which I don't feel like linking to, because uh, I'm trying to prove to one of my friends that it's actually better. Anyways, um, yeah, so upgrading to Windows 8 actually will help a bit, just because of like, some uh, new uh, DirectX version or some shit. Like uh, Windows 8 uses like 11.1 or some shit. Apparently, uh, Battlefield's actually incorporating this or something. They're actually taking advantage of that. Blah blah blah. I don't know. I don't even know if that's entirely correct. What I'm saying. All I know is that uh, there's there, there's something about Windows 8 that Battlefield said a long time ago that said it's supposed to help or some shit. Anyways, to get to the point. Um, the second big thing you can do that is completely free on like upgrading to Windows 8, which isn't free. Uh, there's a serious punk buster issue, obviously, and this is here how to fix it. So obviously you're probably gonna be looking like this um, when you're fucking playing Battlefield, and you're like, what the fuck? And so it's not working. And then obviously um, I'll give you a link in the description to the punk buster site where you just download. It's a direct link download. All you have to do is just uh, just enter that captcha code in there. If you can't enter your own captcha code, I guess you have a serious problem. Can't help you with that. You enter the capture code, and now uh, the following is just kind of recorded with the Gaiazo GIF recorder, just because uh, Fraps is gay and doesn't like uh, recording my desktop anymore because Windows 8 doesn't have Arrow theme. Anyway, so all you, it's pretty simple though. All you do is you open up PV Setup or whatever, you know, the file that you downloaded. Then in the top right there, you can see a thing called Add a Game. You click it, then you just select Battlefield 4, obviously. It should automatically find it uh, in the game path, so it should just have like wherever it's downloaded and it should find it, you can just click add game. If for whatever reason it doesn't, just browse, find find the uh, find the file yourself. It shouldn't be that hard, but 99.9% .9 of the time it should do that. I've done this with a lot of games, it always finds it perfectly, so. There shouldn't be a problem with that, just click add game, and then it'll like appear in your little list thingy, and you'll be like, oh my god, I don't know what to do with this. So then you just go and click the big thingy called check for updates, and then obviously with me, it just comes back as, you know, no updates needed, everything's up to date because I already updated mine. But for users, it'll probably download a couple things, and they'll say, okay, it's up to date now, and then you can go launch Battlefield 4, and it shouldn't stutter and lag and poop like a little fuck. And I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, just give it a like so you can let everyone else know that this was actually not, like, some massive random troll. Other than that, yeah, have fun.